Julio, get the strats. Water, hello, Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi. Today, guys, we are going over the first stand that I ever built for my 3D printer. Basic model. Let's get into it. <laughs> You must be thinking to yourself, all the comments and all the other people that have said, oh, you must have followed that from somebody else. You must have done that yourself. You must have copied somebody else. Do you know who I am? Do you personally know me? Because you know every idea that goes into my head eventually becomes a reality. Which is actually the actual truth. Sorry, my chair. I gotta get a new gaming, oh, well, a new, you know, roller chair. But anyway, guys, so, as I said in the beginning, we are turning this in. This is my failed first attempt at a 3D printer stand. Now, as you can see here, it is a little dowel rod through a piece of wood with no structure. It is hard to pull out, but it'll probably fall apart. So, this is made from just regular old plywood. Plywood. Not fiberboard, not two by fours, not nothing. Just a square with two, you know, things. Now, as you can see, the circles inside are where my, where my, um, thing was. I cut two of the same pieces out to make sure that my spindle or filament would fit in here. Now, as you can see, the pieces, they're wobbly. This one's even worse. Okay, so all it is is pin nailed together and quickly done, as I could say. Half assed. Half assed, okay? So this dowel rod, as you can see, goes into here like this. It's going to be very odd. And it's on an angle, it's not straight. Ryan, that's not perfect. Why, why, why are you showing this to us? Because I'm saying. Not everything is complete when you first do it. Nothing is set in stone. This can be just broken apart, ripped apart, put into pieces. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you do. When you make something, actually, it is yours. You made it. You did it. You had to do it for your own sin. But basically, these two pieces went on here like this. As you can see, there's tons of pin nails into the bottom of these. They basically went on here like this together. Boom. My spindle sat in there. I used it once or twice, but then I needed something that could hold more filament. So that's why I did the, the other one with two by fours and a stretcher in the middle to hold it all together because to prevent the wibbly wobbly problem. But yeah, so this was the video of the first fail attempt of this. Now, as you can see, it's not perfect, but it worked. It was functional. That's what you want when you're starting out. You want something to work. You want something to do. You want something that will fit your needs. Not go beyond, not go do anything else, but you want something that works for you. And then it's the best part about it. It worked for me, but it didn't suit my needs. Then I went bigger. Um, so, yeah. Basically, I explained it. I ripped it apart. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Whatever happens next, we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. That was the first, um, I know this is the last, like, third or fourth time I'm saying it as a, you know, dumbass that I am, but um, this was my first one, and now it is trash. And now I have a dowel rod. I don't think I want to look good at smoking a cigar in this jacket. Oh, and this video for any Wish reviewers, this is bought off a of Wish, and it looks pretty damn good on me. I don't know. So, we'll be going over that next time. I will see you guys in the next Video Tell me pretty lies Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake